Scandal The Lawn Chair review. This ex episode was not what I expected because I had stayed away from the major spoilers. So I'd seen the promo, but I didn't make the link to Ferguson. Um, so I was very pleasantly surprised when I saw the episode because I had been feeling like I was going to hate it because I'm a very heavy Olit shipper and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm just going to get more pain and it's just going to hurt. Um, but it was an amazing episode. It was brilliant. It brought forward obviously the Black, Li Black Life Matters and how and just brought us back to the topic of Ferguson and police br brutality and I loved it. That just that whole storyline written by I can't remember can't remember who the other writer and main writer was, but it was brilliant. And then the um actor they had actors they had for the dad of the boy that was killed and the um rights activist. Brilliant. They were brilliant. Um and then I loved that it was a Carrie um Carrie episode. Olivia was the main focus. Um I and Olivia's uh, Carrie's acting was on point as per usual. Um showing her post traumatic stress disorder. Um how she acted that brilliantly. It wasn't overdone, it wasn't it was just perfect and how like how I also like how it connected to how when she took went to take a drink of water from the cup and her hand started shaking she put it down and crossed her arms to like hide the shaking it was like when it was shaking by the side she then grabbed onto her jacket to so I like that connection um I loved the whole episode I loved I literally loved every single part of the whole episode the only part there was only one line in the whole episode that I hated. And it was when Melly said, oh, I prostituted myself for you so you could get your mistress back. I hated that line. It was just blur. Because A, who cares if technically Olivia is a mistress, okay? But she's not. So that's one thing that's wrong. And then Melly, you can't put that onto Fitz when you did that of your own free will. He did not ask you to go sleep with Andrew to get the phones. You did that of your own choice. So you can't go to Fitz. I prostituted myself for you, basically. You can't. So just shh, shh. Okay, that was the only line, literally the only line that I hated in the whole episode. Um, I would have liked there to be, I guess, I don't know, just, I I almost missed Abby's part because it was small. And then I love David Rosen and Olivia scenes. They just are always perfect and a little bit of comic relief in some of them. And I also, um, and then I loved how Olivia had her kind of vulnerable moment in front of him. And how obviously Olivia then always makes it a way to get her way and she did that and he got the subpoena for her. Um, I was chanting or I was like when they found the knife underneath the body I was like that's planted, that's planted, I know that's planted. So yeah some of the, the it wasn't, it was suspense on your edge of the seat but not because of the twists and turns, because there wasn't that many. It was more because of what the story and what the message it was getting across. That's, we were just feeling that like, wow, so many people are seeing this message and this is amazing because, to be honest, no one would think that that would be on primetime TV. Um, I loved, oh, okay, Jake needs to go because he's actually a waste of space and money and time and effort and everything. It was literally like, okay, I liked the beginning bit when Liv was basically blowing him off like, I'm just going to lie to you because I really don't care for you. Um, you're not important to me. 
Um, but it was like then they just forgot about him and then they went, oh, he's still meant to be in the episode. Let's chuck him in here for 30 seconds. So I was like, yeah, that wasn't needed. None of us would have noticed. We wouldn't have cared. He could just go on, just never turn up again. Um, I then loved, obviously, Quinn and Harkin, seeing them with Liv. And, yes, I loved seeing Liv back to being Liv, although not quite being Liv. This is what I think. Liv always has these problems. And rather than facing them and getting through them, she kind of just plasters over them, right? Which is why she keeps doing things like running from fits and promises and stuff. And now I'm not really sure how this... How um, post-traumatic stress disorder is um, how that's gonna affect her in the long run. Like, will she talk about it? Would she talk about it with Fitz? Like, that would make me really happy. Um, but I would like her to talk to someone about it, even if it's Abby. Abby. Oh yeah, I would love her to talk to it about Abby with Abby. Um, I really think she should get out of that apartment. Like, God. And where else? She should have some protection. Like, in my opinion, she just should. Um, so, yeah. And then I, um, Melly, yes, in her red, looked amazing. And, okay. So, the person who's been vice president. Personally, I know that for Melly to be president, they need to do this. But I still want the rest of Fitz's presidency to go off brilliantly. And he needs a good vice president. Sure, all his previous good ones have tried to overthrow him. So I guess I can see where he's coming from to go, okay, I'll go along with Melly and get this really dumb one. Um, she's good for comedy, for, for some comedic relief. But um, she kind of annoys me. Her voice is just this yappy voice that I don't really want to listen to. Um, and then there was when she was talking and it, and then Melly and Fitz started um, thinking about Jerry. Oh my goodness, the acting there was brilliant. Because yeah, it wasn't overdone. It wasn't like a full on distort. It was like, you know, because they're obviously political, highest political figures in the public. They The emotions don't go straight on, but there's some that you can tell, you know, it's like, these are emotions they can't hide, but they're still trying to. And yeah, they're just faces. Oh, it's like, oh, my babies. Um, yeah, so that scene was, um, yeah. And then I, um, I, I, I loved the, um, I loved how perfectly they got the policemen because I just wanted to hit them the whole time. And that monologue that he did, that monologue where I was just sitting there like, we were here to help you. Are you talking about slavery? Because seriously, just, but it was brilliant. Um, and I also, I loved all of it. I loved the ending when Fitz then hugged, um, hugged the boy's dad, I loved that, that was just so nice. And then I loved how it finished with the focus on the boy, um, on the son, rather than on anything else. I do want to see about Olivia. Okay, so me, if I had just gone through kidnapping that apparently only lasted a week, I'm sorry. I think it's a bit more than that. But anyway, even if it was a week, like if I was kidnapped for a week, I would not be in my room with the lights off, lied flat in the middle of the bed, okay? I probably would have the lights off. Some people say no, I'd have the lights on. But because I feel like if you have the lights off, then they can't find you. <laughs> um, but I would be curled up into a ball with my phone and my covers over my head. Not like how she was lying there. When she was like, what's her phone? How do you call for help? How do, what do you do? Um, sure, it probably wouldn't help, but still, um, I, it, I just, it was a brilliant episode. I just loved it. Can you jade out? 